From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. That's a coronavirus warning from Health Minister Wells heading into Father's Day weekend. The virus is now more prevalent in younger persons between the ages of 20 and 49 years. The biggest rate of increase among people 25 to 34 an almost equal distribution of male and female. According to the data, the minister is urging younger persons to go out and get vaccinated, especially if they want to, as he put it, party. Health officials reported another 53 confirmed cases around the country for Thursday, including a concerning 13 in Grand Bahama. Most of the rest in the capital. There are 740 active cases out there, with 38 persons still in hospital through Thursday. The death toll is now listed at 241. Minister Wells says they believe they can have 30 percent of the population vaccinated by September using the World Health Organization's regional vaccination vehicle. With the prospect of additional doses, we want to remind countries about the importance of communication campaigns to maintain trust in vaccines. Having clear and transparent information about when doses are or aren't available and consistent guidance on who is eligible for vaccination is key to increasing confidence in our vaccination programs. That's Power Director Dr. Carissa Etienne this week. There is concern about what is called the Delta variant going forward. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Despite the best efforts of authorities, the inner city gun violence continues. Another shooting incident here in the capital overnight has left one man dead, another man and a woman in hospital. Police said it was a drive-by type again. They're investigating this. Also questioning a teenager in connection with an alleged robbery and rape here in the capital this week. A woman reporting that she was accosted by three men while walking on Mackey Street early Wednesday morning. She told police the men robbed her of personal items before forcing her to an abandoned building where they sexually assaulted her. Still working on a resolution to that Cabbage Beach access dispute, PLP leader Davis believes the government should settle it by acquiring the land involved in the public interest. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Mostly cloudy and warm tonight. Overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 77 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds falling to light and variable. The sea's three feet or less. Next tide is a low around 9 this evening. Saturday's forecast, partly sunny and warm. Highs in the upper 80s, maybe some low 90s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about heading into the weekend. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines. As the world passes 4 million deaths from the coronavirus, there continues to be progress out of the pandemic because of vaccinations. The U.S. is almost fully open now, and Europe is following suit, now allowing U.S. visitors back again for the first time in a while. In Japan, the debate continues on whether spectators should be allowed for the upcoming Olympic Games. No final decision yet. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. On TV, there's plenty of soccer. That major international tournament continuing in Europe. John Quill Jones is in Europe also playing Euro Basketball Championships for Bosnia. The Tribune Sports is following that. Major League Baseball, Jazz on the Marlins opening a series with the Cubs today in Chicago. NBA playoffs, elimination games for the Sixers and the Jazz tonight. They will be on TV, and there's plenty of golf. The U.S. Open for men. The LPGA also has a tournament going on this weekend. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Back on the streets Monday morning. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. 
And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper back on the streets Monday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com.